Hi friends, it's Veronica Vax, naturopathic physician, happily retired. Today we are going to talk about potential long-term side effect of proton pump inhibitors or PPIs. Arlene Haas writes to me, the person was taking PPIs for 14 years because the person was told that he has a high stomach acid. So she was, uh, or he was able to discontinue PPIs, diet, supplements, digestive tract gets better. However, Arlene concerned that person has veins on his lower legs, especially around ankles. There is some dryness too, and veins look a little bit inflamed in some areas, little darkness, but not bruises. I don't think so. So friends, let's talk about long-term side effects of PPIs. Arlene asked me, is it possible that such a long-term use of PPIs created spider veins? And my answer was extremely unprofessional. I said, I don't know. There is a simple answer to that. First of all, spider veins is a multifactorial disease. We do not know what may cause liver problem can create that. Also obesity, there is a genetic predisposition. However, we cannot exclude PPIs as a possible cause. But the true answer we don't know is a true answer. Why I said so? If you do research on medical literature, on term, what is that long-term use of PPI? You will find, and I will post the link below, that long-term use means between six months to two years. Person took PPIs for 14 years. It's a lot of years. So it's possible that PPIs create a problem. The answer is yes. To show you that, you need to understand a couple of things. Let's go and look at slides. Here we go. So, first of all, to learn more about high and why hydrochloric, what for hydrochloric acid produced in our stomach, please see my on my place list, list video number six, stomach. Now, purpose of this video to explain you how protein is digested by hydrochloric acid. So one of the roles of hydrochloric acid is to digest protein, break down long chain of protein. The second is conversion of pepsinogen to pepsin, which is active form. Pepsin breaks down the protein. Here on the side, you see a picture. This is a protein, quaternal structure. This is what is muscle. This is what beef and pork is, that's what you eat. This huge ball, this is the protein. When this piece of protein gets into our digestive tract in the stomach, it's get broken down by hydrochloric acid and pepsin broke down into tertiary structure, easy to digest. Finally, hydrochloric acid and pepsin will break this tertiary structure into secondary structure that looks like a spiral. This spiral is made out of individual amino acids like glycine, glutamine, alanine, arginine, aspartame, cysteine. The, those amino acids, this primary structure, amino acids will be broken down in the digestive tract by um, pancreatic enzymes called protease, okay? Now, keep in mind, point number one, role of hydrochloric acid in the digestive tract to break down the protein. Second point you need to know, how our arteries and veins are made. So here you look at the simple structure of our um, arteries. So inside there are cells that are lining. These cells are on called tunica intima, and it's made out of collagen fibers and smooth muscles. Around that, we have tunica media. Again, it's made out of elastic fibers, collagen, and smooth muscles. 
And then outside cover is tunica externa, elastic fibers, and collagen fibers. Now, from this slide, you need to understand one important thing. All of these elastic fibers, collagen fibers, muscles, they are proteins, meaning that are these proteins, the, exactly these proteins. So they are made out of these amino acids. Now, let's go to the blackboard and I'll put the whole picture for you together so you will understand how um, arteries and veins are built in our body. And what happened, if you do not have those individual amino acids, you are not going to build good veins. Let's go to the blackboard. As always, I already pre-draw for us picture of the digestive tract, its mouth with the teeth. Here you put into your mouth a piece of protein. It is meat, fish, could be dairy products. It drops here into the stomach and stomach start to digest by me, protein, start to digest protein by means of hydrochloric acid and pepsin that get pepsinogen, pe pepsin that get converted from pepsinogen. So, and it's broken down. Then this pre-broken down protein in form of um, primary structure, remember primary structure when individual amino acids get connected to each other. So those long chain of amino acids moved into the small intestine. And here we have pancreas, pistase for pancreas, produce pancreatic enzymes, amylase that will break down further this connection between amino acids. And only then those individual amino acids get absorbed through the digestive tract and they will go, let's draw bloodstream. They will go into the bloodstream. This is your bloodstream. They will go with the bloodstream all over the body. So here is your individual amino acids. And they will go into different cells. And these cells, they will assemble those amino acids into primary, then into secondary structure, to the tertiary, and finally, we form our own, this is the muscle, we form our own muscles and connective tissues. So when you look at the vein here, let's say this is the vein, okay? You look at that, it has a several structures and all of those structures are built out of those individual amino acids. That's what happened when the person is healthy. If person does not produce enough hydrochloric acid, okay, or it's blocked by proton pump inhibitor, so you don't produce enough hydrochloric acid, it's low. As a result, you don't produce enough pepsin, low pepsin. So as a result, you do not break down these big pieces of protein into in, uh, to a, a, a long chain of amino acids. As a result, huge piece of protein arrives here. Pancreas is not equipped to break down a secondary and tertiary and quarterly structure. As a result, a lot of this protein is just get lost through the digestive tract out into the bathroom. As a result, you don't have enough those amino acids to build muscles and connective tissues. As a result, they become thinner. Skin becomes thinner and veins and arteries become thinner. So let's go back, back to the PowerPoints. So what happened if you don't have enough amino acids to build those internal structures, such as 
collagen fibers and smooth muscles here and here and here. What body does, it does build whatever is available and it makes it very thin. As a result, arteries and veins do not look that healthy. That's basically it, guys, that I want to share with you. If you have any questions, please ask me right here in the, uh, in the session below. Like, subscribe. And if you need a health coaching sections, session, just contact me through my website. Thank you very much. Bye-bye for now.